Hello, welcome again, um, viewers. This is Gospel of Christ International Prayer Ministry. We're here again. It's a Friday, and we're here to bring you good news. And good news is the gospel, which is about Christ. Um, we're very happy to be here today. And if this is your first time, this is Gospel of Christ International Prayer Ministries. We're on air every Friday live from 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. And um, we're taking this opportunity to invite you to our weekly service. Um, every Wednesday, we meet for Hour of Travailing from, uh, from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. Hour of Travailing every Wednesday is purely prayers where we travel to prevail. And last Wednesday was amazing. We learned um, of um, how our situation, we should move from our situation or our environment or how we shouldn't let um, the shout or the, the things of, or the mind of people to let us be put at a place where we will be comfortable, but we should cry out loud, and we should not cry out loud to a man, but to God. And I'm telling you, the prayers that went on in the house was amazing, and you have to be there. You just have to be there to, to experience it and to know how it is in the house. And on Fridays, like today, we're there for a deliverance and prophetic service, deliverance and prophetic service. If you need a word, if you need um, a reason to certain things you're going through, if you need a solution, if you need a direction, if you need a word from the Lord, and then today's service is for you because Fridays is purely deliverance and prophetic. And I'm telling you, when you come to the house, by God's grace, he's given us a prophet or a seer who can, you know, who is the mouthpiece of God and can tell you what God is saying, what God has for you and what, it, what is behind your life and what is before you. I'm telling you, it's, it's, you it's, it's, it's amazing what God is using the man of God to do in our lives because some of us, if not for certain... Um, openings and for certain directions and, you know, certain um, utterances and certain eye-opening messages that had come concerning our lives, I'm telling you, we don't know where we would have been today. And to the glory of God, we just thank him for the man of God in our midst. I mean, it's not about man, it's about God, but God needs a man to use. God needs somebody to speak through. So we are privileged and we are blessed to have a man of God who has dedicated his life for this purpose. Um, his name is Prophet Nano Osebe Diakon. You would hear from him very soon. Prophetic and deliverance service. I'm telling you, you don't have to miss the night. From 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. And the last Friday and the second Friday of every month is our nine visual, which is fresh fire service, which includes song ministration, prayers, um, testimonies, worship, you name it. Um, prophetic deliverance is everything combined into one and um, he has time the prophet in the house has time to speak to each and every individual that is available in, in the present at that time and I'm telling you if you need a word then you don't have to miss our Friday service whether it's all night or it's um, no more evening service the second and the last Friday of every month is a powerful night that I, I will encourage each and everyone to be there. So the last Friday of this month, we will be in the house from 9.30 p.m. to 5 a.m. 9.30 p.m. to 5 a.m. Um, just make it a point to come. I'm telling you, you will not regret coming to the house. And on Sundays, which is my favorite day, or my favorite service, is the fresh oil service. The Sunday service is so amazing, from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m., fresh oil service. I'm telling you, Sunday service is just amazing. It's powerful because the atmosphere in the house is just amazing and overwhelming that people don't even want to leave after the service. And it gives us hope, you know, it encourages each and every one of us. And we are revived once again to have a, a, a purpose for the week. And it's it helps and carries us through the week, knowing that God is at work purposefully for our good. The Sunday service, fresh oil service from 9.30 a.m. to 1.30 um, 1 p.m. 
I'm telling you, if you come, your life will never remain the same. If you miss your way, just give us a call. Pick the numbers. Give us a call. The church is at 176 uh, Lewisham High Street, London, SE 13, 6JL. If you're from Brixton, the P4 will come, um, will bring you to Lewisham High Street. If you're from Newington Green, the bus 21 will bring you. If you're from New Cross Gate, there's so many buses coming from New Cross Gate to um, Lewisham High Street, the 21, 436, um, 108, 321, so many buses. The 108 comes from Stratford too. You can pick that bus and make your way straight to Lewisham High Street. Just ask for the McDonald's or the TK Max or the Primark. We are just, I just sent the Primark on top of the jewelry shop. Um, I'm telling you, there's so many buses in coming to Lewisham High Street. You just can't miss your way. Even if you miss your way, give us a call. We will direct you. There's now a prayer line and a counseling line. If you need prayers, there's a number to call. If you need to book for counseling to see the man of God, there's also a number to call. Give us a call if you need anything. And um, I can promise you that God is the one who can help you. But God has chosen a man at this time to use to speak his word to his children. It is amazing what we have and in the house, the, the blessings God has, has given to us. So we want you to be part of it. And if you want to be um, a partner or to support this program, for us to stay here for a longer period, you're more than welcome. Give us a call. You know, tell us that this is how much you want to give. This is what you can do to help us stay on here for longer. And God will richly bless you. God bless you as you listen to us. And I introduce you to the man of God, Prophet Nana Osai Bediakum. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you so much and we thank you for today. We ask for your spirit. We ask for your presence. We ask for your power over our lives, O oh God. Mm -hmm. Help us to deliver a message that will, will help the people and help their future mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, I stand against every activities of the devil. Mm -hmm. Anything that will frustrate your work, O oh God, we bind in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And we pray that release your healing power through this media in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. That we prayed. Amen. 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 Let's read our Bible. If you have a Bible, just turn your Bibles to Exodus chapter 15, verse 22. I want to talk to you about something that um, I always love to do this because it is my field. Whatever you do that you don't enjoy, it is not for you. Whatever you do that you don't enjoy, it's not for you. But whatever you do that you enjoy, it's for you. And so I want you to know this thing now, that God is going to touch you. Wherever you are, you are going to be blessed today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There is something I call the search. The search. People can, you can go around looking for help, but sometimes the person who can help you is right there, standing in front of you, but you don't know. Mm. So I want to teach you about the search. Now, let's read the Bible. Mm -hmm. Exodus 15, 22. Mm -hmm. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Now he brought them from the Red Sea. Uh -huh. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur. Now Shur. after that they went out into the wilderness of what? Of Shur, uh -huh. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. And the Bible said that and they went three days and they found no water. They went out three days. After, after the sea, after coming out from the sea, the people by themselves went around by doing a search. Of searching water. Mm. Amen. Amen. They were looking everywhere to get something to drink. Mm -hmm. But Bible said that they did not find any. Listen to me. There are times that you go on search. There are times that sometimes you want to search. You want to go around looking for a thing. But let me tell you, God has ordained people that can help you to make your searching very easy. Amen. Very easy. Mm. This setting I'm talking about is what is causing people. Now, people are going around the city looking for something. It means that they are in for something. They are searching. Mm. Everybody is going around looking for something. You are searching. But sometimes you need a direction that can just let you stand still and look for what the Lord is about to do and Amen. what the Lord wants to do in your Amen. life. So this day I came with a direction. Mm. The Lord said to me tonight, if you go to church, just get a bottle of water and then pray over it, give to people. People are going around looking for healing. But healing is right there with the people. I'm Amen. telling you. 
They, they were going around looking for healing, looking for something. But God, who has already arranged things, God will never take you through the Red Sea and then bring you out to come and search again. Mm. Because sometimes we feel that we can do it on our own. Mm. Whenever you find that you can do it on your own, God will just step back and look at you. Mm. And then you will do the search. And when you do the search, you will return to him and yes. say, Father, I have gone I've around the back. city looking for everywhere, mm. but I did not find it. Let me tell you, the search that you do must also revolve around Christ or Amen. must come around him because when you do it around him you will get the good result. Amen. 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 So the men went went around for three days mm. looking for water and they were going that is what is happening. You are going around looking for help. You are going around looking for somebody to help you. You are going around looking for something to drink, something to depend on, something to live on. Every, their life has become so bitter, so bad for you. A Bible said that what they found was another thing. You see, mm. what men found or what men are looking for is not what God is looking for. Okay. I'll teach you something because what you're looking for is not what God is looking for. What God is looking for is to give you a greater life or a great to put you to a greater height. Amen. But what you're looking for is that I need something to live on. I need something to depend on. I need something to I need a food to survive. No, that is what God is that's not what God is looking for. Mm. God is looking for more. Amen. You remember the Bible said that the men that were with Christ they were looking for food. But God the Christ that was in them gave them more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were looking for something that can help them to survive, mm. but he gave them more. Amen. Bible said that the children of Israel were looking for food, and they were looking for food, just something to live on. But Bible said when, Christ, when God came in, he gave them manna, something that can survive them for good. Amen. And so when men are doing search, the search they do becomes nothing. Mm. But when the search is in the things of the Lord, I'm telling you, you get a good result. Amen. 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 Tonight, wherever you are, get a bottle of water and come to the house. Mm. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, God is going to do something in your Amen. life. This is a type of direction that I love so much. If you are sick, if you are going through something, if that life has become so bad, you've been searching for work everywhere and nothing seems to be happening. You've been going around through lawyers to look for help. I'm telling you, there's a direction for you today. And that direction can save your life. Amen. I am not here to make noise. I know what God has given me. And that is why I'm inviting you to come tonight. Because tonight is going to be a prophetic deliverance and direction. Amen. So it is going to happen. We will lift the bottle before the Lord. Mm. And say, God, we are tasty. We are, we are looking for something. And we are here before you. You must feel that thing for us. Amen. And God will do it. In uh -huh. Jesus' name. Uh -huh. Now, when they came to Marah... Mm -hmm. They could not drink the water. So when Mara. they were searching, they came to a place called what? Mara. Mara. When they were searching, do you know sometimes we go around the city looking for something, but the first thing that we found or find is sometimes it's not the right thing. Mm. The first thing that sometimes we come across, sometimes it's not the right thing. Okay. Because Bible said, and they came to a point, a place called Mara, and they saw a, a water over there, and they did rush for that thing because they were looking for water for so many years. You've been praying for something for so mm. many years. You've been fasting for something for so mm. many years, but yet you are not getting it. It is not coming to pass. And so, so now you become frustrated. And so you said, anything that comes in my way, I'll take it like that. Mm. And the Bible said, when they got to a place, and that place was called Mara, and the Bible said, they found water in Mara, and that name is bitter. It means bitter. So mm -hmm. the first thing that they got involved was bitter. Mm. My God. The first thing that they got involved was it's something bitter. that can even, no, no, they can even, not even enjoy that mm -hmm. thing. So they were doing the search. Until you return to God for divine direction, you will never go through what you're going through. Jesus. You need, you need God to give you a direction. Mm. That is why I'm telling you to come tonight. Amen. I came today just to invite you to come. Mm. I'm telling you because you need that thing. You've been praying. For the fruit of the womb. And you've been praying. You've done all the search. There are people who have gone to the doctors and everything. But nothing seems to be happening. Mm. I am telling you there's a God who can give you that thing very easy. Amen. I'm telling you if you can make yes. your way. God can give you that thing. Amen. We know people that were even about 57. We know people that were even crying for a whole year. Nothing, nothing happened. Just a common fleas. They were able to conceive. Yes. And so why are you crying? Why are you still doing the search? If somebody is inviting you to the church. Come and your life will never be the same. Amen. So you've been doing the search. 
set for so many years. You've been praying for so many years. Your documents has been there for in almost 10 years, 20 years, and nothing seems to be happening. There's something around that thing that needs a direction to, ta to take Amen. that thing. Because when directions are being applied, I am telling you, the devil will take off his hand and God will manifest Jesus. his power. And so I'm telling you today, mm. do not stay home. Amen. Man, do not stay home. Woman, yes. do not stay home. Say to yourself that I need a change in my I life. A I need a new drink. I need a new taste in my mind. Yes. I need that thing. Bible said that and they went one looking for water. Bible said when they got to the place, the water was so bitter that they cannot even drink. And the Bible said they went back to Moses. I believe Moses was a prophet and Moses was with them. And Moses was just standing right looking at them for to, to see what they can do for mm. themselves. And then when the people went there and saw that the, the water was so bitter, the Bible said, and they rushed back to Moses and Moses, what shall we drink? Because the man was with them. He was a leader. He was somebody who took them from the, the, the Egypt, from mm -hmm. Egypt, mm -hmm. and then brought them through the Red Sea. But they were supposed to consult him for anything. I am telling you, God has ordained prophets for divine directions. Amen. And this direction that God has given me, I am telling you, do not not let this direction pass you Amen. by. Because when you get into the church and you lift up your bottle of water, you bring it from your house. I will not even give you in the church because when I give you in the church, you say maybe I have done something to it. But you bring it from your mm, house. And mm. when you do that, we will lift it before the Lord. And I'm telling you, even if you have cancer, Jesus. it will go. Amen. You remember there's a, there was a woman who had that problem of that cancer thing. Mm -hmm. And then one day, I went to the oh, hospital. hospital. When I got to the hospital, I saw her. The, the, the state in which I saw her was not good. But I said, God, I said to God, that God, you can do everything. And I, I, was, I, was, I think I was carrying a, a bottle of water. And I prayed over it, opened it, and gave it to her. And I said, woman, if God has indeed called me, Jesus. you will leave this bed. Amen. I am telling you, it is a testimony in the church. Yes, it is a big running. testimony in the church. Mm. I am telling you, if you have that situation, if that, that cancer, that thing that is troubling you, I'm telling you, come and God will based on this direction to flush it out. Amen. It, it, it cannot kill you. Mm. There's nothing. God created the image, the body for himself. I am telling you, it's a temple of God. Amen. So anything that comes in that is so from you need to come out. Amen. 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 I want you to come. Uh huh. And what happened again? Mm. And the people, now when they came to Mara, uh -huh. they could not drink the waters they of Mara. They could not drink the water, uh huh. For they were bitter. But for the water was what? Bitter. bitter. So through their search, that was what they found. Mm. They were certain. That is what they found. So sometimes when the devil finds that you are so desperate, looking for something, he gives you something that will not be benefit you. Jesus. Open my eyes. He gives you something that will not benefit mm. you. He will give you something because he found out that you so you so desperate and you're looking for the thing so much. So the set of men will end up nothing, mm. but the set of the spirit will produce that which you look. Amen. For. And so I am telling you, God has given us divine insight, and that is what I'm telling you. If you need something, if you want to break through, if you want to break out today, I am telling you, just get into the church, just get to Louis some what seven sister Louis and the Lord. Whom we serve will never disappoint you. Amen. Continue it. Mm. Therefore, the name of it was called Mara. It was called what? Mara. Mm -hmm. And the people complained against Moses, uh -huh. saying, saying, what shall we drink? After their own search, hmm. after the, the stiff-necked people going around looking for their own thing, they went back to the prophet and said, prophet, what, what shall, shall we, we drink? drink? But before then, they were supposed to consult the prophet before, before. doing that thing. Mm. But they did not. But let me tell you, so there's always a chance for people. Okay. There was, there's always a chance. The Bible said that there was a woman whom the woman, she, she, she left his own country and went to another country. And she was okay with that place. And then suddenly, the sons all died and the woman needed to return to his own country. The mm. Bible said that when she was living, she went to the country, her, her country, when she got there, the Bible said, and the people met her and they said, welcome back Naomi. And he said, do not call me Naomi, call me Mara. Because through my search, the Lord has dealt with me bitterly. bitterly. Because I went with my strength. I have been there with my own, my own life. And I've lived there for
for good. But now I have to return to my own land by divine order. Mm. The Bible said that when they got to that land, because the name was changed according to the scriptures, another lady who who was where who was just with that oh my God who was just with the woman, Bible said she was blessed beyond measure. Amen. I am telling you something. What am I talking about? I am talking about the set because when you try to do the things yourself, yes, when no. you try to use your own strength, when you try to go through it your, your, in your own way, God will also step back and look at you. Jesus. But if you start looking for the thing through God, I am telling you, you will have a good result. Amen. That is why I'm telling you that tonight in God's will of Christ, we are praying that God, we have done the search, we have been through a lot, life has been so bitter for us, mm. but today, we are lifting a bottle of water before you, that God, we are so thirsty, that we don't even know what to drink, Amen. we don't know what to eat, yes. but God, hold this thing and base on this thing to change our life. Amen. I am telling you, the Jehovah that we serve will change your life. Amen. He will give you the joy that you need. Amen. He will give you the joy that you need. Amen. Oh my God. Jesus. Life has become so bitter for you. Mm. For how many years? I don't know. But they went there for three years, three, three days. Three days looking for something. Yours has been three years, six years, nine years, mm. 12 years, 15 years, 20 years. You are still certain. Hmm. You are still certain. The documents that you and other people applied, they have received it, but yet you are still certain. The man that you're praying about, so your friends has gotten into it, but yet you are still searching. Jesus. You see, you certain. How long are you going to search? I am telling this direction for you. Amen. Yes, you have, you've been praying for the fruit of the womb. God bless me, God. Open my womb. For, for so many years, nothing, seems, nothing has happened hmm. to you. I am telling you, there's a direction for you. Amen. Do not just stay home. Don't even say that we are making a market. We are telling you, come and experience the power of God. Mm. Because it is the power of God that can cause changes in your life. Amen. The Bible said, and they went back to Moses. And Moses, oh God, said, went back to his father and consulted the realm of the spirit. Mm. And said, God, the people, the stiff-necked people has come back to me. And mm. as they are back to me, God, we must do something. Yes. We need not to destroy them. Yes. We need not to kill them, yes. but we need to attend to them. Yes. And the Bible says that, mm. that God who owns everything yes. and has every direction yes. said to Moses, that Moses, mm. ah, look at the tree over there. Yes. Go and get that tree. Amen. Put it in that river mm. and it will change now. Amen. I am telling you, God, it today has spoken to me by a direction mm. that says, son, get a bottle of water. Mm -hmm. Use it for the people. Pray over it. Whoever that the devil, the devil has deposited something in them, I will take care of it. Amen. And I will out of their system. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And what happened again? Mm. Labra Sahaba. I feel the Lord going to move tonight. Amen. I feel that by seven, it is going to be wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he cried out to the Lord. Mm. And the God showed, and he the Lord, what? he cried out to the Lord. Who cried? Moses. So Moses, who has a good connection with the Lord, mm. cried to the Lord. Mm. He was immediator. Between God and the people. Now, that is how God has made his mm. people now. We are just immediators. Mm. People who can communicate with the Lord for you. Amen. I am telling you, you need this thing. Mm. You need the direction for your life. Amen. You need the direction for your life. Amen. You have done the search for yourself. Mm. You've been through a lot. The job that you've been looking for, you've been looking for the job for almost six years. Mm. I, I'm telling you, there is a woman in the U.S. who called me said, Man of God, I have all the degrees, I have mm. everything, but I've been setting and setting, but I can't have it. Jesus. I said, Woman, there's something that we need to do. Yes. One day we lifted a bottle of water and then we prayed to God. I said, Go and pour it out. She went and did that thing. I'm telling you, God is so good. Amen. She's working in, 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 a, in a big company, which I cannot state, I cannot say it here, because it is a big company. In the time that she calls a man of God. You are so, I, I like what you did. It is a direction. When direction comes, I am telling you, your destiny will change. Amen. This is a direction for you. This is a direction who has been there. You remember the man who has been at the pool of Basada. Yes, he was mother. certain and certain and certain. She has, he has been there for 38 years. Nothing took place. But when Christ stepped in the situation, it changed. I am telling you, today something good needs to happen. Amen. Just get a bus. Yes. Just get a train. Get to Lewisham. Let us pray and seek the face of the Lord and I'll cry oh, I'll cry I'll cry to Jesus. the Lord for you and I'm telling you he shall also open the heavens mm. oh the Bible says he that cries in secret the Lord will reward them openly, openly. and so today we shall cry Amen. and the Lord will reward us Amen. I am believing God to meet you tonight mm. because when I meet you I know that together we can build yes. and we can stand 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mara, change Amen. to become sweet. Amen. Your life will change from now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Be blessed. Amen. 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 God bless you, viewers. Our time is up. And um, we'll be here next week, Friday, with more good news. If you just turn on your set, this is Gospel of Christ International Prayer Ministries. And we're here live every Friday from 5.30 p.m. to 6 p.m. And we're taking this opportunity to invite you into the house of the Lord. We're meeting tonight, 7 o'clock. In an hour's time, we're meeting in the house, 7 o'clock sharp for um, deliverance and prophetic service. And tonight there's a direction, bring your own bottle of water. If it's, if it's deliverance you need, if it is um, um, healing you need, it is, if it is anything, financial blessings, whatever it is that you need, freedom from struggles, whatever that it is that you need, just bring the bottle of water, believing not in the water, but that God can use the water to cause a change. And I know that testimonies will come out. If you, if, you want, if, if you feel that God is touching you to help us stay on here for longer, um, just give us a call. Pick up the numbers. Give us a call. If you miss your way to, you can, miss us, you can give us a call and we will direct you. If you need prayers or if you need to book an appointment, pick one of the numbers. Get in touch and we will be there to support you in whatever way. God bless you so much and we know that we will meet you in the house tonight. It's going to be powerful, and I don't want you to miss it. I'm going to be there because I'm not going to miss this for the world. Um, we bless and we thank each and everyone who keeps supporting us, the encouraging words. God bless you all and for the prayers. Um, we thank you. This is from Gospel of Christ. We will meet in the church, if not same time next week as bye for now. <laughs>